In the second example of how to use the text blender, I will make a web page that starts with playing a YouTube video and then with text where all words are linked from Danish into English and with the next button linking on to a crossword exercise called cross.htm. I start by selecting the language. I will still use English. Go to the overview. I click on media. And in this case I want the media to be a video player from YouTube. So I need to go to YouTube to find a video. So I'll type in 3W YouTube YouTube com. I will search for a video which is called UE Denmark. That is the video. I click on it. You hit Denmark. You may recognize the voice. Anyway, the information I now need for the video is found here and it's called embed. So I click on that line. I make sure that I have highlighted all of it and I press Ctrl C. And then I go back to the Text Blender, click the video player, click the button that says Embedded Video Information. It is important to make sure that it is the full text that I paste in. I use Control V and say OK. Then the instructions. I will have to type in a headline. Remember the headline that is the big text that will appear there. I will call it U in Denmark. I will still use the phrase click on a word to look it up in the dictionary. I could replace that with a Danish instruction. The exercise that I will link to is just called cross.htm. And in the copyright, video and text, prepared by Kent as an example. Then I click on the main content. I can see that I now start with a YouTube video. Now I want to enter a block of text. To do that I have to find the text that I have already prepared. I highlight everything by pressing Ctrl A. I copy it by pressing Ctrl C. I then go back to the text blender and click on paste text and I click finish then I need to select a dictionary the text is Danish so I have to select from Danish into English I check with the summary that I'm satisfied with all the decisions and click export I want to use Dropbox to export my exercise directly to the web. So I go to my Dropbox folder, I enter the public folder, I will make a subfolder, a new one that I call Jul, J U L, and I go into that folder. Now I want to copy my files into that folder. And the files I need to copy are all those that I have prepared with the exercises, crossword exercise and matching exercise. So I copy those, Control C, and put it in here, Control V, there, and they are now being exported automatically. There they are, when you see the green flag there, that means that they are now online. I want to export the web page. 
and I want to export it to my public folder and the subfolder I created previously called U. Click on public, I click on U, and I will just call it U and say OK. It's important that it's called U.htm because the ending .htm tells the software that it is a web page. There. And it is now ready to be opened with my internet browser. I will go to my Dropbox public folder. I can see that the file is ready there. And I want to see it live. I could click on it now and it will start and it will work locally, but I would also like to see it live in the internet. So I right click it, I go to the Dropbox line, I copy the public link, and then I go to my browser, I paste in the link in the top of the browser, and click enter. And we have the video ready to play, I click play. Jul i Danmark. Du kan i denne video se en almindelig dansk familie holde jul. I can click on the word jul. And it looks it up from Danish into English, Christmas, Jul or Christmas Day. I could change the target language if I want, for instance, in Spanish or let's take it in Polish. I click go. And we have the Polish translation of the Danish word you. I will then check if my exercises also work. I click on next. And there it is, the crossword puzzle. I can go on to the next exercise, a matching exercise, another matching exercise, one more, and a mixed sentence exercise where all the words are mixed and I need to find them in the correct sequence. There is one more of the same type. 